When it comes to renovation shows, streaming services are thinking big. Not content with solely the smaller stakes home renovations of Fixer Upper, Flip or Flop, Love It or List It and Dream Home Makeover, Magnolia Network, available on its own app and Discovery Plus, and Netflix are offering viewers supersized property makeover shows that amp up the genre of renovation programming. Magnolia's Homework chronicles Utah-based Candace and Andy Meredith's journey of turning a 20,000-square-foot school into their dream home. In the works follows Lindsay Karofsky as she restores the 12-cabin Oak Knoll Lodge in California's Big Bear Lake, and each episode of, Remotel spotlights a motel owner's makeover of their property. A Netflix motel makeover, now streaming, centers on friends and business partners April Brown and Sarah Sklash as they reinvigorate a dated property in Sobel Beach, Ontario. It's a second location for their brand of June motels, which offer guests Instagram-worthy backdrops, rosé and plenty of millennial pink. Discovery Plus dating service brought him and Renee Zellweger together. Paris Hilton Cooks, Kissing Booth Ends, a Bob Ross stock debuts. There's drama that comes with this size of a renovation, and who doesn't watch a show for a little bit of drama? Splash says. Our previous motel was 16 rooms, this was 24 rooms, so, you're, making decisions that you're not just going to make once, but you have to like that decision 23 more times, she says. Everything's at a much larger scale, and for us it made it really hard. We haven't done something this size, the rooms, the pool, the indoor slash outdoor restaurant and the shop. It was a lot. Renovation shows are a popular draw. Nine of the 30 most popular unscripted series last year for women ages 25 to 54 were HGTV programs like Celebrity IOU, Flipping 101 with Tarek El Mosa. Help! I Wrecked My House and Extreme Makeover, Home Edition, according to Nielsen Data. Excluding 24-hour news networks, HGTV was the most watched cable network in 2020. May's debut of Hometown Takeover, in which Ben and Aaron Napier made over 12 homes, businesses and spaces in Wetumpka, Alabama, brought in more than 6.5 million viewers. Brown says shows like Motel Makeover can tap into that desire to build a life outside of the box. There is something to this being a bit of the millennial dream, she says, ditching the desktop and buying that in or that motel or whatever that thing is and escaping out of the city and doing something creative with your hands. It's really cool that there is more content like that out there. Joanna Gaines Chief Creative Officer at Magnolia Network, says she felt naturally drawn to the large-scale makeovers. This is the kind of programming we've always imagined for the network, stories about passionate people who are doing inspiring things, she says via email. I know for us, these shows have served as timely reminders of what makes life so beautiful, family, adventure, and possibility. When you hear these stories and watch how they unfold, you can't help but want to go out and create or experience something special for yourself.
cheering on Joanna as they built Magnolia Network is the role of a lifetime. Chip and Joanna gains on the long-awaited debut of Magnolia Network. In the works Starkarovsky also hopes viewers walk away feeling encouraged. None of this is easy, but it's doable, she says. For all those people that tell you, oh, you can't, you couldn't, you this, you can, you absolutely can. Is it easy? Nope. Is it going to cost more and take longer than you thought? Yep. For season 2, Karofsky revamps a 9-acre motel in New Ashford, Massachusetts, that's three times the size of her Big Bear property. In dealing with 20 motel rooms, for probably 1,200 square foot cabins, and then on the back side of the property, I have another 24 rooms that have major damage, like, the, roof is caving in, she says. As for where renovation shows will go from here, May Networks follow Kurowski's motto, Be Bold or Be Nothing. On Discovery Plus, from 90 Day Fiancé to Mythbusters to Anthony Bourdain, 